So if Steve Jobs was a woman, um, I first think about all of the challenges he would have had to overcome that maybe he didn't have to uh, as a man. Um, one of the things in her ass map that we've dealt with internally is just the infrastructure that surrounds entrepreneurship and being in the workplace in general that women have to face that that men often don't have to at least in Egypt um, for example men don't have to choose as much between you know their work and having certain work demands and having a family and certain family demands and the expectations and the priorities that you have you know as a person you know you want to have children or you want to have a family and school operates at certain times uh, you know there's restrictions that you're subject to as a woman more than a man and one of the challenges that we've had as we're just setting up now as a, as a real staff with an office and everything is to structure our requirements to be flexible to allow our staff, both men and women, to make these choices with their own priorities and the expectations of their families, um, especially the, the women who come from more traditional backgrounds, their family expects very specific things from them. And it's been really difficult for us to find a way that works with the law and with donor requirements and you know time sheets and all of these infrastructure uh, you know requirements to be working also with our needs as as women and our priorities as women and you know of course our priority is also work and innovation and entrepreneurship and making a contribution to society just like Steve Jobs but um, you know, we, we function in an environment maybe that is, is better when it's flexible. So uh, I think that this would have been a bigger challenge for him if, if he was female rather than, rather than male. Um, and the same applies to, uh, you know, attracting investors or attracting support um, because women have sometimes uh, different expectations or different priorities in, in family life and private life, um, they're not taken as seriously. So uh, they're a bit at a disadvantage when trying to attract money <laughs> when it comes to like hard numbers and financial decisions from investors and from partnerships. A lot of uh, a lot of people consider women, you know, oh, they're doing this as a hobby. They're not serious. As soon as they get married, they're going to leave it. Or as soon as they have kids, they're going to leave it. And this is something that I hope will be improved if we improve the internal structures and allow women to work better in, in more flexible time frames or, you know, from home or, you know, different, different structures like that. It will make it easier to prove that we're serious, to prove that, you know, yes, we can have a family and we can work with our husband to take care of our private matters and at the same time excel in the in the sphere of innovation and entrepreneurship